Hi, today I'll be making some homemade meatballs and I'm using chicken. These are nothing like the store bought meatballs because they are really delicious and so yummy. And don't worry, it's pretty simple. I have put one chicken breast in the grinder and ground the chicken. Now it's small, as you can see, ground really well. Adding some seasoning, salt and pepper. Next, I'm adding a little bit of cumin powder. This gives a very Sri Lankan flavor to the meatball. And I'm adding one egg. The egg will combine everything together so that nothing breaks when it cooks. Next, adding some green chilies and onions to make it super yummy. Now to add a lovely flavor, I have some oregano with me, but this is purely optional. If you can, put a little bit of oregano at this stage or even mint powder gives a nice flavor to the meatballs. If you find the mixture is a little runny, you can add half a cup of breadcrumbs to this mixture. Now all you have to do is mix it nicely and make small balls. You can make and leave them and you can fry it whenever you want or cook it whenever you want. You can freeze them really easily. But today I'm going to make a curry. Let's see how we start with the curry. Tempering a little bit of ginger and garlic. Adding the tomatoes, potatoes, onions and the pandan leaf and of course some curry leaf. These are the Sri Lankan aroma for the dish. This is a perfect curry for string hoppers or rice. Adding a little bit of turmeric because we want the color to look really pretty. If you don't want a lighter golden color, you can omit the turmeric and just put the chili and coriander powder. Of course, adding some salt and a little bit of pepper. Just let all this cook nicely with the oil until it's raw taste has gone off so you'll be getting a lovely aroma at this stage everything has got combined and cooked together now you can see it's turning into a beautiful color now let that cook a little bit and we want to make a lovely gravy so i've added a little bit of water and a little bit of thick milk now it's nicely simmering and when the gravy is boiling add the meatballs one at a time make sure that the gravy is really hot before you add the meatballs if the gravy is not hot enough the meatballs will tend to break so when the gravy is really boiling that's the time to put one at a time and cook these beautiful meatballs well since it's made out of minced meat it cooks really fast when the gravy thickens a little you can off the fire and it's ready to be served hot hot or you can cook and leave this in the refrigerator for two to three days nothing happens it's really yummy this is a favorite in my house even with noodles everyone loves to have a chicken meatball well that's it for chicken meatballs so simple so easy when you get used to this you'll never buy store-bought chicken meatballs ever again that's for sure this gravy is really delicious and if you don't like the gravy if you want a thicker curry you can always make it with a thick base curry without putting a lot of water but everyone at my house loves this especially with string hoppers or noodles even make this and just fry it and have it it's a super bite enjoy until i meet you next enjoy your food and enjoy your cooking if you have not subscribed to my channel now is the time to do so because i'm excited to share all the recipes i know with all of you after all sharing is caring